your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Michigan State Police investigating an officer involved shooting in Shiawassee County. Now, it happened Saturday afternoon around 1 30. The Shiawassee County Sheriff says it assisted Duran police with a traffic stop. The driver had a felony warrant for his arrest. Now, during that traffic stop, a sheriff's deputy fired his weapon. As a result, 43 year old Daniel Silver of Corona died of his injuries. The deputy has been placed on administrative leave while that incident remains under investigation. MSP said there were no other injuries. Well, the city of Flint making progress to take guns off the street, bringing down crime by 17%. Mayor Sheldon Neely says about 3,000 guns are ready to be destroyed. The majority of the weapons were seized during police investigations and some were surrendered by citizens during gun bounty programs. Flint has been holding on to the weapons while state police work to find a new method for gun destruction. Officials are now making plans to clear out the guns and have them destroyed as part of the city's safe and clean summer initiative. Well, this Friday, whose line is it anyway? We'll be coming to the Temple Theater. Ryan Stiles and Greg Proops will be joined by Jeff B. Davis and Joel Murray for a show unlike anything you have ever seen. Tickets run from $50 to $60. Doors open at 6.30. The show starts at 7.30. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. A lot of us have been taking advantage of the nice spring weather, but we're actually a little bit above average. So when we get back to April normals, it's going to maybe feel a little bit cooler and it's going to be here before we know it. As we look through the next seven days, high temperatures are going to be into the 60s for a while, but it's towards the weekend that we do fall back into the 50s. But let's also set the stage. Normally we would be looking at highs around 56 degrees at this point in the season. So we do get there towards Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So April weather does return for the weekend, but as far as the spring conditions, I'm sure we won't have too many complaints with these 60s here for the week. But a lot of us might be in the mindset to get those gardens going. So you may want to hold off on planting into the ground just yet. Maybe just those potted flowers is the way to get started because the chance of frost is still on our radar. And we're first alerting you to that potential as we go into the weekend. We're talking Saturday night into Sunday morning for that frost potential. And that time frame also lines up with our extended forecast. You'll see as we go into the later half of April, we have quite a bit of blue here on the map, including mid Michigan, signaling that we do have some higher chances for us to be finding our temperatures a bit below average. But again, our average is climbing. So if we're just a touch below that, hopefully still those numbers continue to climb. But we also have some rain to talk about not just the cool spell coming later this week. Your rain chances though will not be here for the rest of your Monday. You'll find that we have clear skies overnight leading us to another sunny start tomorrow morning and even for the evening drive home. Our Tuesday is going to be dry. It isn't until Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Here you can see after midnight that we do have some showers and thunderstorms. Those are going to work their way through and Wednesday is actually going to be our soggy day in the forecast. You'll see we have that rain chance sitting at 80% and then we do tr uh, have those lingering rain chances as we go into Thursday and Friday. That's also when those temperatures do go from 60s to 50s. But the weekend, we're already taking a peek on this Monday and it's looking nice and dry. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.